Hi everybody, Chris Cronin here for Stacked Poker. So yesterday's vlog, we uh, said goodbye to 2021, with you know, with the pandemic, good riddance. I'm glad we're moving on. Today, we're here to say hello to 2022. And anybody that knows me really well knows that this is my absolute favorite time of the year. You know, it's a, it's a time for new beginnings, a fresh start. Um, anything's possible, right? It's a clean slate. New Year's Day is probably my favorite day of the year, even more so than my birthday, Christmas, the kickoff event of the World Series every year, or even my kids' birthdays. Don't tell them that, please. Uh, it really feels like the time of year where whatever I want to accomplish is possible. Now, several of you are probably setting New Year's resolutions, you know, whether it be spending more time with your kids, eating healthier, losing weight, quitting smoking, um, getting back out on the dating scene, whatever it might be. I, I've never been one for New Year's resolution, but I have been very big on goal setting in my life. And New Year's Day is always the perfect time to set new goals. You know, I think goals should be measurable, achievable, and documented. The more you write down your goals, the better chance you have of, of achieving them. Uh, matter of fact, one of our coaches, one of our columnists, Mark Bremen, he writes the coach's corner column, says if you can't be accurate and honest with your poker results, you're probably not going to be a winning player. Um, don't have to just be honest when you win, you can be honest when you lose also. As a matter of fact, it's one of Mark's uh, commandments of poker. So when you start to write your goals down, realize it needs to be something achievable, measurable, and document everything. You know, you'll, you'll feel better about it in the long run. Now, we do have a new opportunity coming up with Stacks Poker. We're looking for a few select people throughout the country that want to join our team as writers. Uh, you won't be a monthly columnist, and it's not going to get you rich or anything. But if you'd like to contribute to the magazine each month, we're looking for people to cover poker in their region. So specific regions throughout the country. What this would entail is emailing or possibly a few phone calls to casinos in your room and poker rooms in your area. Find out some results from the past month. If they had a big tournament, maybe you want to get the final table results and a picture of the winner. If a poker player won a drawing and won a car or something, that would be something that would be cool to have in the magazine. And then also you're going to report on what's coming up in those casinos for the next month or two. That way people that are traveling or people in that area can see exactly what's coming up. Again, we're trying to be the one-stop shop for everybody's poker media needs. Um, one of my goals set for the month. So I won't get into any of my personal goals, but I do have some very specific poker goals. Uh, playing wise, I always set goals for myself, whether it be monthly, you know, weekly or even yearly what i'm hoping to accomplish and i do a document it in the past i was pretty bad because if i had a losing first couple months it seemed like my documentation just kind of flew away uh, if i had good years then strangely enough i documented the whole year so like i said earlier be honest with yourself document everything in the long run it'll pay off uh, if you are interested in a writing position covering your region of the united states please drop me a note it's Cronin, C-R-O-N-I-N, at stackedpoker.net. Uh, drop me a line, let me know you're interested, and I will get back to you, I promise. Now, with that said, I'm very excited for the new year. You know, goodbye 2021. I have high hopes and expectations for 2022. Cronin out.